SEO Mozzers. Welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Uh, today I want to do some active stuff with the board here and actually uh, walk you through a little bit of um, search engine information sent, I guess. So I asked up top here, what do search engines and bloodhounds have in common? And this, um, this is kind of the thing that, that I like to think about. So let's use an example of how the search engines are going to sniff out what the canonical or original source for a piece of material is, what, what they really um, are looking for when, when a searcher performs a search. So let's say, for example, and I'm going to use the blogosphere because I know you're all familiar with it, I'm familiar with it. So let's say that one day Danny writes a nice blog post on search engine land, right? Here's his page. And it, let's say the topic is about, um, I don't know, Google. Right, Google buys uh, Petco. I don't know why. We'll figure that out later. So Google buys Petco. Search Engine Land writes about it. And what do you know, no surprise, some people do start linking to it. Right? They start linking to this post from Danny because he's gotten the insider scoop. He's gotten it kind of earlier than everyone else. So here's TechCrunch. TechCrunch points to it. Right, And then maybe SEO Moz points to it as well and some other folks point to it. Random guys, here's Andy over at Marketing Pilgrim. Okay, here's some of the problems. As soon as TechCrunch picks it up, right? TechCrunch picks up this story, guess what? Here's TechMeme, and here's maybe the New York Times' new blog runner, NY Times blog runner, right? And they are not pointing to search engine land, they're pointing to Mike Arrington because they like him better. Um, no, I don't know why they're pointing to him, but everyone seems to point to TechCrunch when they, they cover a story, even if they're not the ones to break it. Um, the search engines, right, Google is going to go out and they're going to crawl around and they're going to look for all sorts of information tracking. They're going to, yes, they're going to follow these links, right? They're going to look at who's linking where when someone searches for this, what should I follow? And, right, this might be a news-related search or it might be a, someone types in Google Petco. Right? And so they want to see information about the deal, they're, they're looking for that. But search engines are smart. Um, Google in particular is getting much smarter with actually following through. So even if everyone in here uses the right anchor text, right? like Google buys Petco. Google buys Petco is their anchor text and when they're pointing to TechCrunch, you can you can see that he points in here and he says, um, Danny mentioned this, right? And that's his anchor text, which is kind of, I don't know, pain in the butt anchor text to get. You wish you were getting the more relevant anchor text for the actual search term, but you're not. He points to search engine land with Danny. The search engines are still going to be smart enough to go, you know what? I am looking overall at all of this stuff. I'm going to see every piece of this pie, and all of these are feeding back into Google. So, and I, you don't just get to see, Google doesn't just get to see the links. They also get to see the content on all of these pages. So they know that all of these pages, especially in the blogosphere, are talking about this topic, this Google and Petco topic, right? And they see a lot of co-occurrence there. So they keep seeing those two words together, right? Google and Petco on all of those. And then they can track, they kind of trace through. So they'll follow the scent from TechMeme back up to TechCrunch, New York Times up to TechCrunch. Oh look, and TechCrunch is pointing over here, and these guys are pointing over here, and these guys are pointing over here, and these guys are pointing over here. It's not just an anchor text game anymore. It's not even just a links game anymore. It's a follow the scent and try and find the original source. And what's incredible about this is that it's kind of taking, it's taking a very different look at what is the most relevant or what is the um, the canonical reference resource for this particular piece of information. And so instead of just raw, oh, this is a high page rank page, this is a high page rank domain, and oh, this is also a, uh, you know, has the right anchor text pointing to it, you now have to compete with everyone who's getting that information sent right. So this, it's kind of, it's, it's a cool evolution in the way search engines work, and I think actually it's a, it's going to be a critical part of more than just news and blog search related algorithms in the future. Uh, so keep, keep your eye out for it. Hopefully history will prove me right. All right, everyone. Uh, next week we'll be back with more uh, 
more Whiteboard Friday action. Jane and Jillian are getting back from their long trip to London, and I hope to see you then. Take care. Lift up a layer, drop it on a better fashion.